This is the front line in the fight against Miami's most wanted. They go and bury themselves under the soil in dark, uh, moist areas. And here it is, the giant African land snail, an invasive species that can grow to over 20 centimeters in length and live for almost 10 years. The first giant snail was discovered back in September and steadily they've spread across South Miami, carrying with them potential dangers. They have a human health threat in that they can transmit a rare form of meningitis to which there is no cure for, it's not known to be fatal. They also attack 500 different plants and vegetables uh, and that represents a huge threat to Florida's agricultural industry. Our job then Eradicating the snails is now a major operation involving over 200 state and federal officials. The program to get rid of these giants could take years and cost millions of dollars. So far, state officials have caught and killed around 33,000 of these giant African land snails, but that could just be a drop in the ocean. Some have been found more than 30 kilometers from the original site. But the big question is, just how did they come to be here? Investigators say religious shrines like this may hold a clue. Giant African land snails have been used in sacrificial rituals, and it's thought some may have been smuggled into Miami by those who believe the snails possess healing properties. So we use the giant apple snails because it's water-based, and you see I picked it up out of the water. But Chief Aluko, who lives in one of the affected neighborhoods, only uses legally purchased water snails for his ceremonies. The chief says the dangers of giant African land snails are well known. There have been reports of people becoming ill after eating them. My advice is that you freeze them. They told me that what you should do is collect them and put them in a freezer and then hand them back to them or to kill them. Or you can just collect them and save them for them or call them and they will come collect them. And they will destroy them. The last time there was an outbreak of giant snails in Miami, it took the authorities almost a decade to get rid of them. This could be a long and expensive battle. Andy Gallica, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.